I'm Shu Rayner and this is the Wednesday Drawing Show. Now this week we have talented composer Chris Wonfer setting us an amazing task for the next three weeks to make weather themed drawings for a music video. To help inspire you I'll show you a simple perspective trick, how to draw clouds and how to draw sunshine. If you've watched my drawing videos before then you'll have heard this piece of music a lot. It was written for me by a very talented young man called Chris Wampa, who is asking Wednesday Drawing Show viewers to make drawings over the next three weeks for his weather-inspired piece of music. Now, will your work be part of this great project? Let's not talk about it. Let's meet the man himself. My name is uh, Chris Wampa. I'm 21 years old. I want to be a music composer for film and television and stuff like that, really. Music production, video production, anything like that, really. I mean, have you just been doing music since you were, you can remember, or? When I was, I think I was about five, my music teacher had a guitar. So I was like, oh, that looks pretty interesting. Yeah. I sat in the classroom and I thought to myself, you know, I want, I want to learn this instrument. My family's from like a musical background anyway, because mm -hmm. my granddad band called the Fireflies years ago. I think it was in 1960s. Hmm. But anyway, we're drifting from the story. Um, <laughs> I picked it up. And I played it, and I, I could play it really well. So yeah, that's how I got in, introduced to it, really. Chris, you've written this lovely piece of music, which kind of expresses three different types of atmosphere of the weather, um, and you've imagined putting pictures to it. But kind of what what inspired you to do it? I'm fascinated by the way music coincides with visual, and I thought the best way to kind of demonstrate that was to have different weather. And I thought, you know, I might make a music track to go alongside of it, um, and I wanted to demonstrate how music can come inside with visuals and tell a story. So over the next few weeks, what we're we're planning to do is to get the Wednesday Drawing Show viewers to contribute drawings to kind of animate and illustrate your music by listening to it and feeling the emotions and drawing what they feel. It's going to put the video on top of the music and anything that people draw from the Wednesday Drawing Show, we'll put it on top of it and it will coincide with the video to convey the, the emotion, what weather normally produces. The Wednesday Drawing Show has a very worldwide audience and it's probably expressing very English weather. <laughs> but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that will uh, spread out across the world and people will still yeah. get the emotion and, uh, in, and the feeling of it. So what we've got is, is three different sections. One we'll call Happy Summertime, one we'll call Scary Storm, one A Bright New Day. And they kind of roll into each other, don't they? But yeah, if we, we kind of break them down, into three sections and then each week we'll get different drawings and then we'll put the whole thing together at the end. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be yeah. good fun. The happy summertime bit, how, what, what would you say to people? This is kind of what I had in my mind while I was writing that little section. Mainly just a, a jolly day. You know, us Brits obviously enjoy the nice weather. The amount that we get of it is not ideal, but... <laughs> We've had a uh, terrible year last year, full of rain, didn't we? So every yeah. sunny day has meant a lot to us. In a nightmare, isn't it, really? <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, the, the whole idea of, the, of that day is, you know, a happy day, full of life. Yeah, just basic nature. Nature blooming. Good. Great. Blooming magic. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> I'm often asked for lessons about perspective. So here's a simple lesson that might help you to create a sunny day picture for Chris's music video. Draw a horizontal line to represent the far horizon and then draw lines radiating out from the centre of the line. Now, there may be a mountain range sitting on the horizon and the sun might be rising behind the mountains. Draw a horizontal line as your foreground and then draw more lines parallel by getting closer together the nearer you go to the horizon. And this gives you the impression of distance. The great surreal painter Salvador Dali did this trick an awful lot. He almost made it his trademark. With some paper over the top, we can draw a surreal picture with a musical note floating in the air and a packet of cornflakes open and ready for a sunshine breakfast. The radial lines connected by horizontal lines give all the perspective clues needed to produce a fairly convincing perspective drawing. Have a go at putting your own sunny day objects in the drawing and upload them to the wednesdaydrawingshow.com to be added to Chris's great musical video. Instructions at the end of the show. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? 
What's in the mail today? We've got one letter from Canada and one from the USA, from Emmett Gaudet in Canada. Here's his drawing of the Ginger Ninja, who is my favourite character I've ever written. Thank you, Emmett. I'm sure there was a letter in here, um, but I'm so stressed out, I've put it somewhere else and I'm not quite sure where. But thank you very much for your drawing, Emmett. This is going up on the Wall of Fame. I'm visiting lots of schools at the moment, so I really do have very little time to make the Wednesday Drawing Show at the moment. So from Jay Vaughan in Grapevine, Texas, here we are, is the card, and inside it says, Dear Shu, thank you for sharing your drawing with us on YouTube. I love looking through the old videos as well as waiting for the new ones. Good. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that. I don't draw as much as I do photography. Drawing comes after photography, and then third, acrylic painting. I think some of my favourite videos are of Mrs. Rayner cooking. I think cooking here is a bit different from yours over the pond, so I enjoy seeing what she does. I hope my card makes it on your wall of fame. Best wishes. Uh, I think it's Jo from Texas. Thank you very much. And yes, this is going up on the wall of fame. And if you're wondering what that's all about, Mrs. Rayner, well, I have another channel called the Shoe Rayner Life Channel, where I kind of uh, film my everyday life and thoughts and things like that and sometimes Mrs. Rayner uh, does some cooking in it as well so you might want to go and subscribe to that there's a link at the end of the show I love getting stuff in the mail Clouds are really difficult to draw they're so fluffy there's not a lot to get hold of when you want to draw clouds build up the outline with lots of different sized curves and then draw a few more inside the cloud to give it a bit of depth and texture. The darkest parts will be in the nooks and crevices of the cloud, while the edges of the curves will tend to catch the sunlight. If that's all too much, you might like to get a white china graph pencil or chalk or pastel and draw a curly designer representation of a cloud. If you wanted to draw the sun peeping out from behind a cloud, remember that the part of the cloud in front of the sun will be the darkest. You might get good effects by shading with the edge of the pencil. Now, does that give you any ideas for Chris's weather video? Keep watching, there's more. Now, Chris and I really do want you to join in with this project and do lots of drawings about a beautiful, lovely, jolly, sunny day. It might be a memory from childhood or it might be somewhere where you are right now and you just have to look out the window. If you've not uploaded to the WednesdayDrawingShow.com before, don't be scared. There's a little video at the end showing you how to. And we really, really, really would love to see your work. And we'd love you to join in and be part of this fabulous music video idea. Just to give you a little more inspiration, here are some ideas for how to draw the sun. You'll have seen me explaining drawings with polystyrene balls before on the How to Draw Eyes show a few weeks ago. Well, we can use the same principle to show how to draw the sun from different angles. A straight head-on cross changes into crossed curves as you rotate the ball. Head-on the cross gives you the proportions and positions to add sunglasses, nose and a beaming smile. As you rotate the ball, the straight lines turn into curves. And this gives you all the clues you need to draw the same happy sun staring upwards. Rotate the ball again and the curves now give us the clues to draw the sun looking down. When you've worked out the trick, do a finished drawing and colour it in. You can draw the sun in many different ways and styles, as a smiley happy face or a more traditional representational style. You could do the rotating ball trick with either of these styles. Or you might want to give an impression of heat using short curves radiating around the white centre. Whatever you choose, make sure you upload your drawing and let it be part of Chris's great weather video. So for this week's drawing task, I'd like you to go to Chris's YouTube channel and listen to the first movement of this little piece of music and draw a sunny day or anything to do with a sunny day that the music suggests to you. It's a jolly, light and fluffy introduction to the whole piece. I suggest you close your eyes and listen to it several times, then get to work on your drawings 
which I will show on the Sunday Gallery review next week. If you feel inspired to make an animation, well, that would be amazing. Upload it and make it a video response to this show. I'll put uploading instructions at the end of the show. Here are the links to the Sunday Gallery review show and to the page on the WednesdayDrawingShow.com where you can upload your drawings. Here's the link for Chris's channel and the link for how to draw characters from different angles and the Wednesday Drawing Show which had all the eyes on it. Go and have a look at that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed to the Wednesday Drawing Show. And why not have a look at my nearly daily vlog for background and stuff about how this show comes together. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. If you've not uploaded to the WednesdayDrawingShow.com before, don't be scared. There's a little video at the end showing you how to. And we really, really, really would love to see your work. And we'd love you to join in and be part of this fabulous music video idea. Go to the WednesdayDrawingShow.com and click Upload Your Drawings. On this page, you will see an Uploader section at the bottom. Click Choose File. Choose the file that you want and click Open to upload your file. You'll see the name of your file next to the Choose File button. Now give a description and then click once to upload. Just wait, just click it once and wait. And then once you can see your picture, everything is done and I will move it into the proper gallery and show it on the Sunday Gallery Review Show.